Okay, this is the February 12th core team meeting. And the first item on the agenda is stage RFC, stage design, whatever we call it, Nico. Uh, no major updates, except I guess the main update would be that we are planning to put the project group RFC, which is sort of tangentially related to this, or a fun, or like a building block for this in my view, uh, into FCP, I think I was planning to anyway. It's a T-core RFC, so all the rest of you will have to take a look if you haven't already. Um, but uh, that's what we were discussed at the governance meeting anyway, and it seemed like the conversation had reached a steady state. So, um, yeah, that's it, I guess. The rest of what I wrote is kind of the same. But the next step would be to talk more about linking procedure or at least discuss how we will modify our procedure to make it a little more staged. And I'm still thinking the right place to start is sort of focusing on stage zero, so to speak, which is like getting from this is an idea on internals, having a step in between this is a random idea and I wrote an RFC that's kind of like I solicited feedback from the team and somebody there came to help me on this uh, and they're interested in seeing it through. Um, I don't know how much we've talked about it in here. I don't remember. I guess I'll leave it at that since we're always short on time. Okay, there's nothing else on that. The next item is the legal issues. Uh, first, which is the licensing copyright clarity, Nico? Uh, I started reading the document that Florian prepared and providing some feedback. Um, I think we can iterate a little on the text, but uh, like just basically on the wording, but the, the, the sense of it seems good. Um, it seems like the main, more difficult task is going to be um, there is a sort of audit and we, have, we someone has to actually do the work of going through the things and figuring out that we know of, figuring out how to resolve them. And the document does sort of suggest we will theoretically audit the rest of the code base for things that may be concerns that we didn't already have on our list. I don't really know how to do that. I guess just paging through the code and looking for things that look like they may be copied from somewhere else. I don't know, it doesn't, I'm not sure if there was a concrete plan there. But that all takes person power and I don't know who's gonna, who's gonna put that energy. But it seems important, theoretically. Yeah, I would guess that Florian has thoughts on that, but Florian's not here. Um, the next sub item is the email about Void Linux. That's done. Okay. All right, next is white papers and Florian is not here, but uh, Steve, have you talked with anyone at Discord about Discord doing a white paper? I don't have any particular super strong connection. I don't even remember who the Discord person is that's like Discord, so I'm not going to be a good source of a lead on that, frankly. Okay, and Manish, did you remember whether you know someone there or not? No, I do not. I've chatted with like Jake, I think, uh, once when they jumped into Discord, but into our Discord, and was like, "Hey, we're using Rust," and then disappeared. But like, I have a short chat, but I don't think I should. There was somebody that I talked to early on when we were adopting the Rust Discord. I don't claim to know them very well, but I'm not exactly sure what role they played in Discord, but I think it was fairly high up. I can go look through my messages and try to figure out who that was if we're, if we're scraping okay. the barrel like this. <laughs> if we're looking for people, which it seems yeah. like we are. I mean, since we don't have any we thought someone had a personal contact, but if we don't, then like emailing anyone and the author of the blog post yeah. and asking them to find the right person in Discord would probably work. And, that was, yeah. 
I was going to suggest that. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll keep looking into that. Um, roadmap planning, Nico. Mm, the roadmap is in our NFCP. Um, I guess nothing's changed since the last update. But, but the text that I see there looks correct. Okay, and it looks like, okay. Yeah, it's now an FCP, enough people have checked their checkboxes. So that's all I wanted to check in on. Um, all right, survey, Nico. Uh, I have no further updates. It's, I think the next step is still to organize, well, either organize a meeting or just put in time to, um, to start writing up a blog post which I think we really do need to do. Um, I have that on my list. I could maybe get to it next week. If other people want to pick up the ball, I will not object. I don't claim ownership over this, but I don't mind doing it if this latency is acceptable. Okay. Um, anything else with the working group, which is the governance working group, which is the next item? Uh, we moved to Zulip and we plan to hold our discussions over text, but otherwise, no. Uh, I mean, otherwise, the update is what I already gave. Um, well, well, in particular, our last meeting, we talked about the, um, the move to the Rustling GitHub org. We're trying to establish this GitHub access rights policy for quite some time. It's just kind of a tedious set of work to do, but we reviewed the list of work and sort of checked some things off and made some, take some next steps there. I think Pietro would be the main person who's been following up, but there were no updates that like change anything. Also, I see my battery's about to run up. Hopefully I have a power cord. Okay, and the next item is the announcement about Pietro, which it looks like Aiden hasn't uh, had time to get to, but we'll keep bugging him about that. Um, okay, anything else for the open part of the meeting? Okay. Uh, 